Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I want to quickly talk about this brand new upcoming Super Saiyan category on JP that has a lot of people going crazy. Now, first things first, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, essentially, earlier this morning, Team Dokkaner released this tweet that teased a new Super Saiyan themed category for the JP version of the game for the next major celebration. And I'll actually read it for you guys real quick. So as you can see in the English translation here, the category Super Saiyan should arrive with the next celebration on the JP version. If we're basing it off the Super Saiyan link, then this category should have more than 320 cards. So right off the bat, that number 320 is absolutely ridiculous but the other thing that i think really caught a lot of people's interest and really set the dokkan community on fire is this image that he decided to include with the tweet and as you guys can see there are some just insane units included in this image so we got the new tech lr broly we got lr super saiyan 3 goku we got the og lr broly we got lr vegito lr gogeta we got you know basically the point is, we got units in their Super Saiyan 1 form, got units in their Super Saiyan 3 forms, we got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta down here, we got Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegeta down here as well. And the crazy thing about this is, the combination of the, the message along with the image would lead people to believe that this new Super Saiyan category actually includes all characters, all units, in some state of Super Saiyan, right? So. You know, including Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and so on and so forth. So, that's the crazy thing. If, if we can actually interpret what this image would seem to imply, then this new Super Saiyan category that's about to come out is the most broken category of all time. Like, it is an absolutely game-breaking category, and... I don't think he specifically talked about it in the tweet, but I'm pretty sure it would be the leader skill for the upcoming transforming Super Saiyan Goku that we got a leak for earlier on the on the V Jump leak. So I'm not 100% sure about that, but it makes sense. Anyways, um, yeah. So <laughs> conceivably, conceivably, this Super Saiyan category is going to be the most broken category of all time. It's going to have the most units, and it's going to have basically all or like 90% of all the top tier broken units in the game like you know tech vegeto blue the new lr broly we, oh we got lr go bros up here as well as you can see on the top uh left or sorry top right um i mean i, I know some people don't like calling it go bros gohan and goten whatever you want to say it doesn't really matter the point is is busted right but <laughs> let's step back for a second let's just like calm down for a second um i don't exactly think that's what's going on here now he does make it a point to say that um here i am based on the link but the final category can be different so what he's saying is this is actually just an image of units that have the super saiyan link and it doesn't necessarily mean that this new super saiyan super either it's called super saiyan or it's a super saiyan themed category will have all these units that are included here and more right so um you know, I'm trying to like gather my thoughts here because there's just so many things going on up here. But what I'm trying to say is I don't think that the category will actually look like this. I don't think it's going to be all units in all forms of Super Saiyan because it just doesn't make sense from both a game design perspective and also a business perspective. Because if it's including Super Saiyan 3s like Super Saiyan 3 Goku here and all other Super Saiyan 3s like Gotenks and so on and so forth, um, then the Super Saiyan 3 category would essentially be obsolete, right? There's no purpose for anybody to run the Super Saiyan 3 category with this new Super Saiyan category, right? And also, if they actually included all these units in one category, then it would defeat the purpose of summoning for a lot of other leaders out there because this category alone would make a lot of other categories in addition to the Super Saiyan 3 category, just basically obsolete, basically pointless, and people wouldn't be summoning for certain units that have leader skills for categories they want to run because, oh, I already got the new, you know, unit with the Super Saiyan uh, lead, right? So what's the point of getting, you know, these other units with not as good leader skills or not as good categories, right? So I'm not sure if I'm articulating this correctly. Like I said, there's a million things going on in my mind right now, but 
All I'm trying to say is like, it makes absolutely no sense. Bandai would never do that. There's no way, no way. I'll tell you guys right now, 100% or 0% chance rather that the final category will include all these units. And what I really think it's gonna be themed around is Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 or just Super Saiyan 1. So, um, yeah, to me, that makes a lot of sense because if you go you know, beyond that, like Super Saiyan 3, they would make the Super Saiyan 3 category obsolete. And Super Saiyan 4 is a pretty damn busted as well. And if you just start throwing in like Super Saiyan Blue units and uh, Super Saiyan God units, it's just, it gets too crazy, man. It just does not make any sense whatsoever. So all I'm trying to say in this video is that it's probably going to be a Super Saiyan 1 only themed category and nothing beyond that. It might include Super Saiyan 2s. But I'm not really sure, but it's definitely not going to include all of these units. There's just absolutely no way. But for those of you who listen to all that stuff I just said and are now a little bit disappointed, you shouldn't be because even with only Super Saiyan 1 units, this category can still be pretty damn nasty. We're going to pop over actually to Reddit here and a user by the name of Kosoi, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, actually compiled this list of all Super Saiyan 1, uh, or, or most of them at least, Super Saiyan 1 units in this game, and it actually looks pretty damn good. Now, it's going to be super fuzzy, <laughs> it's not the best quality, but I'm sure you guys can still make out exactly what each unit is. And as you guys can see here, it would, in theory, include all the Super Gogeta, so we got the AGL Super Gogeta, we got the STR Super Gogeta, who by the way can be run on the same team. Um, we also still have uh, LR Vegito, we still have LR Gogeta, we still have Transforming Goku, we still have, uh, what else is exciting here? We still got the EZA units, so we got, uh, or the Family Kamehameha units, so we got the Goku, the Gohan, and Goten from that set, um, we still have LR Trunks, and uh, overall, just a lot of good stuff. Of course, it's not nearly as exciting as what it could have been, I guess, with Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3s, you know, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan Blues, so on and so forth. That would have been insane. That would have been amazing. But it just would have been so damn broken. I just don't see it happening, guys. And you know what? I say all this now. I said that I have a 100% certainty that it's not going to look, like, look like that. And if it somehow ends up being exactly that you guys can come back to this video and troll me and make fun of me i'm okay with that because i am very certain about this man it just it, it doesn't make sense it really doesn't make sense to have all of them oh how can i forget there's also the um the uh physical dragon ball super broly here as well so yeah, I mean, basically, like, this category is still mad broken. We still got the LR Broly. We still most likely will have the tech LR Broly as well on, on Global. Um, and I think the Gohan and Goten should probably be here as well. Also, we got Transforming Vegeta here, too, since he's in the Super Saiyan 1 form for the, you know, base form of the card. So, um, or, you know, the first form, rather. So, yeah. Still a really, really crazy category, even if it's only Super Saiyan 1s. Of course, they could still make some changes. Like, Bandai's really weird with categories sometimes, and they, you know, there's some units in certain categories that just don't make a lot of sense, and there's a lot of units that aren't included in certain categories where it just makes sense for them to be in there. So, at the end of the day, I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but um, conceivably, you know, a Super Saiyan 1 theme category can still look something like this. Oh, we still got Super Vegito here, too. There's a lot of stuff here, man. I can't see everything, but... You guys get the point. It could still be really, really good. So going back to the original tweet, um, I'm guessing that it's not going to be all Super Saiyans. It's going to have a lot less than 320 characters or 320 cards in the category. But it could still be a really good category. Now, before I end off this video, I, I want to be clear. You know, I always say this in all the leak videos and all the, uh, you know, you know, like Dokkan news videos that aren't official in the game is that uh, all of this is pure speculation, right? Like, I don't know anything for sure. Even these data miners, even those da these data leakers like Dokener and Kawhi and all those awesome guys uh, don't know anything for sure. So everything at this point is speculation. It's very likely that a Super Saiyan themed category is coming out. Like, there's a 99% chance of that, but the exact units, nobody really, really knows. And uh, I already said my, my piece, you know, my two cents, and I don't think it's gonna look like this. But that's all I really got to say, guys. I think it's going to be a Super Saiyan 1 themed category at most. And it can still be really, really good. It's still going to make this new Goku, who most likely will have this leader skill, uh, 
very, very valuable, really, really strong, really, really good. Just like for his leader skill alone, I don't know what else he's gonna do, but for his leader skill alone, he's gonna be very much worth summoning for. So there's that. And uh, one last thing I wanna say is be before you guys leave this video, um, definitely let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are, whether or not you agree with me or you think that I'm totally off base and I'm being stupid. I can take that too, you know? I, I'm always open to, you know, constructive criticism or different people's opinions. So if you guys disagree with me, that's cool. Let me know in the comments down below and we can have a discussion about it. And that's all I really gotta say. That's all the info I have for you guys. When more information comes out about this category or about this transforming Goku later on, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. And uh, that's it. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content, and that's all I really got to say, hope you guys have a fantastic day, thank you so, so much for watching, I love all of you, I'm Tiger, with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.